Welcome back, dear Hoda TV viewers, talking about self-development and the methods and mechanics of self-development uh, with our uh, psychotherapy specialist and life coach, Sheikh Ramaz Ibrahim, who uh, started with us by uh, introducing yourself to yourself and by making the intention and self-evaluation. Now we're talking about self-development itself, and uh, you talk, Sheikh, about knowledge and, and training uh, during the first part of, uh, of the show. The training is up to the person who really wants to change. This, this, is the, this is part of the seeking, seeking the knowledge. Now I'm sure uh, the brothers here they have been in situations where they've set themselves a goal and you've, I mentioned the word sabotage, I'm not, that's new for you or the feeling is new for it. Giving up is part of sabotaging it. Now uh, Abdullah has there been a situation where you've actually, uh, and, and the viewers, you know, I'd like you to actually uh, think about this and see if uh, uh, you've had many times, I'm sure you had, that you've had the goal that you've set yourself and you've actually sabotaged it. I've had thousands. I mean, this, I've had thousands. I don't mind saying it, but also I've had thousands of goals that I've actually succeeded. Yeah, I've had uh, actually like many, many actually, but one of them I do remember is trying to memorize the Quran since the last seven years. Every time I say this year, I'll do the whole Quran this year and it's been like this. It's been one of my what's goals. Seems to be the what's actually what's dist what's distracting you? Uh, I always find myself having something else to do, and I think uh, you know obviously we have to work, and uh, I think that you know my environment does not help me. Maybe I make excuses. I did start off with a regular program, but then. From my nature, I have to go and help somebody Someone today. Is, yeah. I have to go and do this today. You can't say no. Yeah, the, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you I can't, can't say no. Yeah. This is this is what all of us like this yeah. most of the time. And once the patterns but are still enough, what do you think? Yeah. yeah, there are many also goals that I have planned to achieve and I gave up. Uh, but one of them, of them, uh, I once uh, planned to uh, analyze and uh, read a novel in my uh, uh, study uh, in a week. Actually, I, I began to, no, I'll start tomorrow, I'll start after tomorrow. And the week went off, I, I didn't know. So this is procrastination, basically. Yeah. In that sense. You could n say, not be able to say no, and procrastination. Asha? I think for me, uh, I have a goal every year. Uh, the same, I had the same goal this year, was that where, as Ramadan approaches, I always think, say to myself, I'm going to pray every taraweeh in the mosque and I'm going to pray every salah in the mosque and I'm going to finish so much of the Qur'an and recite so much of the Qur'an uh, yet when Ramadan starts uh, uh, shaitan comes and you start to make excuses for yourself you say that's uh, a good point that's what I'm looking shaitan for excuses this, this, is, uh, uh, you know, this is the first fast you can always go to t tomorrow to the taraweeh uh, you know you're tired from the first day of fasting uh, and you, you seem to make your life more busy in Ramadan. I mean, the month before Ramadan, yeah. you have all the time in the world. Worse still is when the shaitan says to you, What's what, sir? Don't worry, you've got next Ramadan. Mm. Or you've got tomorrow, yeah. you've got the but next By the way, sure. Sheikh, if, if you'd what? allow me, is shaitan more active during Ramadan or less active during well, Ramadan? Well, we know the shaitan's not locked up. The shaitan are locked up. Those ones who are very strong and uh, give you more, uh, more control, more was what, sir. Mm. You know, that's why you're more calmer in Ramadan. But shaitan mm. himself is running through our veins. He's always with us. But the, the effect on us is less. Mm. Sharif? As for me, uh, uh, for three years, I have had a goal, which is to get married. The Prophet, uh, peace be upon him, ordered the youth to get married if they have the ability to do that. Right? So I decided to do, to do that. But um, uh, the family of the girl that I, uh, I engaged, uh, actually they claimed that I have bad, uh, bad points that I should abandon. Okay? They said that, yeah, they judged me, but uh, that time I believed that uh, they were true. Like what? Like the, I do the, not the, the point is they made, they pointed out, were true. Yeah. So you were you honest enough to acknowledge it? Yeah, I, I honestly, I was, they claimed that uh, I do you not... You don't have to mention them. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's but very brave. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, okay. that's, that's okay. right. Genuine, it's authentic. But uh, later, after I separated from, from the girl, okay, uh, my brothers in Islam, they corrected the view for me. They said that you are okay, Don't, do not abandon. 
your values. You are okay. But you know Maybe they had lower values and you had a higher value and they wanted the, you to be on yeah. their on their level. In their view, in their view, in their view they yeah. saw that I yeah, was like a, a good a good a good man, okay? But alhamdulillah uh, the, my, my brothers it showed me the straight path and they said, okay, you are on the track. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Coach, allow us to get in this phone call. Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, Ali from Egypt. And, uh, you're on air. First of all, I'd like to thank you for this team to understand uh, themselves. Uh, people have no idea what they are capable of until someone goes around and shows them uh, just how capable human beings can be. So uh, on my part, for the better part of my life, I didn't estimate. Thank you, Brother Ali, for your uh, uh, contribution. And uh, Sheikh Ramaz, would you like to uh, If I'm not it? mistaken, he was talking about believing in, in yourself. In, in yourself. yourself. Confidence. Confidence. In the underestimating. Underestimating. Yeah. This is another uh, mistake we make, is we underestimate ourselves. We become um, virtually too humble, <laughs> or pretentiously humble, if I may add, without treading on your toes. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb now and say to you, I am the most successful person that I know. Me, Ramiz, I am the most successful person I know. What comes to your mind, quickly? Asher. Arrogance. Abdullah. I'm the most successful person I know. Similar thing, arrogance. Arrogance. Yeah. Arrogance. Okay. Now, <coughs> obviously, but that depends on what you measure your success by. The reason I'm the most successful person I know right this time, why? Because I'm Muslim. And even if I didn't have anything in the world and I had Islam, I'm not successful by now. Now we have to, as Muslims, understand that the Lord of the universe, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, has chosen you out of six billion people to be one of his servants. He could have chosen somebody else, but he's chosen you. That is the first marker of success. That's your first yardstick. I am right. a Muslim. Right. I've submitted myself to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So and, I'm a successful and, and the most I successful know. person on earth, uh, Shaykh, if you'd allow me, is, is Atqakum. Inna Akramakum and Allah Atqakum. So it is that who fears Allah the most. Most, yes. But in order for me to, that's by degree, obviously. But I have an opportunity now to meet the Lord of the universe. That, for me personally, makes me proud to be a, to be a, a Muslim and to say I'm, I'm success, successful in that point. Other yardsticks I choose my success is that I'm happy in my life the way things are happening now, alhamdulillah. I'm being tested left, right and centre. But who's testing me? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But where's the test come from? Which will be successful for you is if you don't fight the test with your, with your nafs. You don't fight it at all. Now we know the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that the Muslim and the Mu'min is like the, 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 uh, the um, date tree. In a hurricane, what happens to the date trees or the palm trees? They can actually go down, right down horizontal to the ground. But then what happens after the storm blows? They, they come right back well. up again. This is the similitude of Mu'min. But the similitude of those who are fighting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, fighting Qadr, the, 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 the Kuffar, the, 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 the Fasiq, you know? The, uh, 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 th these people are like the oak tree. You, know, I don't, you, you don't have oak trees here, but you have them in England. Oak trees grow up to maybe 500 years old, 600 years old, and they are stiff. Allah just uproots them completely, because they're fighting the Qadr. Yeah. So the whole point I'm making is that we as uh, Muslims have to know that in order to have self-belief, Allah believes in you. Allah believes in you. Understood? He believes in you. How? Because he does not place a burden on you beyond what, you can, what you're capable of bearing. So whatever ibtila, whatever imtihan he gives you, Allah knows and he believes you will pass it. The question is, do you believe it? Right. Or do you say, oh, why me? And this is too yeah. much. You know, I need to get married. I need children. I need money. I need right. work. I right. need this. Subhanallah. Whatever you need, mm -hmm. someone else needs uh, better, uh, worse than you and he right. needs it more than you. It is so, the attitude. It's the attitude. It the You've got to have a positive mental attitude. It's, di it's difficult to say to someone, oh, have a most positive mental attitude, please. It's difficult. That's right. not what you say to people. Right. That's not what you say to people. You have to show them that they have to believe in themselves, but ask them questions about themselves. Indeed. Sheikh Ramaz, um, uh, dear viewers, again we apologize. Time always cuts us through. Yeah. Viewers at home, until we meet again tomorrow, inshallah, same time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.